This is insane. This looks so good. What? Hi everyone, it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. This is incredible. Have you seen how light my room is right now? So, today's video is a video that I have been dreading probably for the longest time. Um, only because I just don't want to get emotional on camera. <laughs> today's video is going to be my my 2020 so i um decided in january to not january like march <laughs> to do a jar filled with good things that have happened to me this year and um it has just been a year of ups and downs but mostly ups and this is why 2020 has honestly been my year and i'm so happy um and i know i'm releasing content more than ever so yeah um, but I just want to go through my 2020 with you and mainly just because I want to remind myself that, you know, you can go through the lowest of the low, but then you can also be at the peak of life. So let's start because I'm so, I'm so nervous. I still have some that I, um, didn't, um, cut out yet. So I'm just going to read those ones. Um, got sent a PR package by... Nanshi. Now if you don't know, Nanshi is a makeup brush brand and they sent me um, a box filled with goodies and oh my god, like I just, I was so happy. Let me look, let me show you the, um, the brush they sent me. So this was actually one of the brushes they sent me and um, I don't know if you can see but it says Georgia and I know that my camera quality is awful right now but I promise you it's going to be so much better because guess what? I got an actual camera for Christmas. <laughs> so as soon as I learn how to use that, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I also got sent some gifts from some companies. Um, some small like Etsy companies and stuff have sent me some gifts and it's just so sweet. And um, it got verified on Duo Blitz, which is a um, little platform where you can go and you know sp spend a small amount of money um, for your favorite TikTokers to duet you um, or like react to one of your TikToks and I was verified there so that's really exciting um, but yeah I'm now just gonna go through the jar and I'm gonna pick one at random because they're all folded and read it out and explain why it's a good memory so okay this one <laughs> Okay, I can't actually say this one. <laughs> I can't and I won't. Because even though it was a good memory, um, it turned very sour. So I'm just not gonna say it. Um, I also don't wanna give him that benefit. Then we have this one. I didn't see it, don't worry. Um, got tickets to see the Jacksons. Oh my God. So it has been a dream of mine ever since I was it's a four years old to see the Jacksons. Um, when I was four, obviously I wanted to see Michael Jackson. Um, and then he died when I was five or six. Too much math for me right now. Um, and so I broke my heart. And ever since then, I wanted to see the Jacksons. And I got tickets to see the Jacksons. Um, like, I didn't even plan on, like, you know, arranging to go with someone. I was just like, I need to go. I need to... Um, you know just get these tickets now because if I lose them I will be heartbroken so I bought the tickets and then Corona said nope because I'm supposed to be seeing them in six months I bought these tickets six months ago but Corona is actually getting worse here in the UK so something makes me feel like I'm not gonna see them but you know it's a good memory because I have those tickets so no matter what I've got them um I got sent a drone okay so self-explanatory I got sent a drone it was like the first thing that just felt like oh my god like because it was an expensive drone and they just sent it to me so um I spoke to Debbie Rowe sorry I was listening for my dad but um please don't come upstairs I've only just started filming but yeah um I did I spoke to Debbie Rowe I reached out to her and it was, um, she's, I, I expected her to act different, I guess. Um, she was nice. She was super, um, 
she was really nice at like she complimented my makeup looks and everything and then as soon as I meant showed her more um, ones that had to do with like Michael and TJ she went very sour and was very blunt with her messages so okay. um, Russell Brand made a TikTok about me <laughs> Okay, so Russell Brand did actually make a TikTok about me. He called me his little sister, his little friend. So I remember like the teachers at school were like asking me to see the video and they were like so shocked. Michael bought me the This Is It ticket. Okay, so I have a very close friend who I was very, very close to. We sort of drifted apart now, mainly just because we're both getting on with our own lives. But, you know, we'll message each other every now and then to see how we're doing because there's no, like, loss of respect or loss of friendship there. Like, we are both still friends. Um, and he actually bought me a This Is It ticket and the... A, 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 how do you spell it? How do you say it? The book that everyone got from the funeral. Um, did a live interview with Michael starring Ben. Okay, so my live interview with Michael starring Ben was the first of my interviews and it was a moment that I'll never forget. It was a solid two hours of me and Ben just talking. Um, I got to know so much about him and he is an amazing person. Honestly, if you are in the UK and you're watching this maybe when COVID is over, I really, really recommend researching Michael starring Ben and um, booking tickets to see him because he is just, an incredible performer and he was the first person to reach out and you know ask if we could do a little something together um so we did and that was the first of my interviews <laughs> janet jackson liked my post okay so i did um an, an instagram photo of me recreating janet jackson's photo shoot thing and she liked it i passed gcses i didn't even do them but i passed them uh <laughs> Okay, this one's actually really sweet. TJ said he liked my singing. So I, okay, so I, I know I can't sing, but I know that I can sing a certain tune or I can sing a certain song. And on TikTok, I sang a video, I sang to one of TJ's songs. I think it was Insomnia I sang to. And he, re he messaged me, no, he replied to the video and he was like, I didn't know you could sing. Um, Jonathan Moffat put me on his Instagram. I remember just seeing that post and thinking oh my god Jonathan Moffat has put me on his Instagram um Travis Payne put me on a story did he Jonathan sent me a birthday present he did Jonathan Moffat sent me a huge box for my birthday of all these signed things and the drumstick and um a birthday card it was it's one of my favorite moments in 2020 getting that box and thinking oh my god um Ben posted me on this Instagram. Can you, like, this all wasn't put in there at once. This was all, like, throughout the year. And so can you see how different things, like, how I've developed? I met Martina in London with Otis and Jaden. Now, that was the best day of 2020. Going to London, meeting my soul sister, Martina, um, and meeting Otis and Jaden, two very incredibly talented little kids who are going somewhere in life, honestly. I got to face some TJ Jackson. I did. Um, multiple times but I just remember the first time it was insane. Met Prince, I did, um, not in person but I met him like through the internet. He is probably one of the funniest people in my life. I love him to pieces and I really hope in 2021 to meet him maybe for my 18th birthday hopefully or I'll just go over there. Um, I got to interview Shana Mangatal. I did. She was so incredibly sweet to talk to. I know how a lot of you feel about her, but I think we just need to remember that you don't actually know everything that went on in Michael's life. So, I had a makeup project for me. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Okay, this makes me so happy. So, a, a, a bunch of um, kids, <laughs> kids, um, they're only a few years younger than me. They got together as a little group and they created like this, collab of my makeup looks and it was oh my god it was incredible it was I think it was Reese Jaden Mary I don't know if it's Bonnie I can't remember if it was Bonnie I'm just gonna say Bonnie um Curtis 
and oh my god there was someone else but i completely forgot and they all recreated my makeup looks and then they all did like a little video of things that they appreciate about me and i just remember crying and thinking oh my god like this is amazing i feel appreciated I got over my depression and anxiety i did i got my own merch i did i didn't promote it that much um but if you go onto my instagram click on my link tree and then go to teespring there is my merch on there and no don't worry you're not gonna have to like have a picture of my face on you it is in fact my artwork that i have made into a wearable picture i guess michael sent me a picture desk he did again like i said this is my friend michael he sent me a picture disc it's on my wall right now because it's unfortunately scratched it came scratched and i was gutted because i love the song one more chance um but it's on my wall right now and it looks amazing so got to be in tj's music video i did i love how i'm like assuring you like i did um i was in tj jackson's number one fan music video and i got to dance alongside him in it and it was amazing it the, the editing and everything about that music video was amazing i met alonzo and mel okay so um two very huge parts of my 2020 um all i'm gonna say is i love you both very dearly you have completely changed you know me as a person and the way i look at people um I have had many laughs from both of you and <sighs> no matter what, I'm always going to be there, you know, whether we're friends or not. Um, Sugar puts that follow on me. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Jonathan Moffat follows me on Instagram. Uh, TJ followed me on TikTok. He did. He followed me on TikTok and he called me his favourite TikToker the other day. I should have had that in here. I did <sighs> I won TJ's last night challenge. I did. I need to stop saying I did. I won TJ's last night challenge and I did win um, an autograph from him and it was so exciting. I remember it arriving and I was thinking, oh my god, this it says my name. Then I was an original TikTok trend. Oh my god. Okay, so there was a TikTok trend. So like, you know when you go on like a hashtag that um, TikTok have created themselves and you get like three videos at the top that says original? Um, I was one of them and I was the, tick I was part of, the I was one of the original videos for the TikTok trend, why we broke up or something. Yeah, I think that that's what it was. Hashtag why we broke up. Um, got to FaceTime TJ and Martina. I did. I've got a canvas on my wall of that FaceTime call. It was me, Martina and TJ. We all spoke. We had a conversation. It was a really nice call. We've had three calls, two calls, three or two. Can't remember. Um, Pims had kittens. My cat. Oh my God. That's actually so cute. Yeah. My Pim, my Pims, my little baby, my cat had kittens of her own and they were adorable. Um, we're getting to the end. There's a few left, but we're getting there. Um, not gonna say that one. She's not part of my life anymore. <laughs> not Jeffrey Perez following me. Oh my god, I forgot that. Yeah, Jeffrey Perez. The reason this one is so big for me is because I remember watching Jeffrey Perez on the Ellen Show when I was young, and I remember seeing the viral video of him singing and sounding like Michael. So that was a big thing for me as well. He's a he's a huge sweetheart as well. He's so nice. Ricardo Walker followed me. Another huge thing. I always watched him when I was younger. This is so weird. Like things that are normal for me now, like only a few months ago, I found like huge. Um, made a music video for TJ. Yeah, and it's on my YouTube channel um, and on TJ's Instagram. Myself and a few other people made um, a music video for TJ and I thought it was amazing. Went live with TJ. <laughs> I think I've been live with TJ t three times. Yeah, three times I've been live with TJ. One was un unintentional. Did a Zoom call with Saida Garrett. Oh my God, June 25th. Joined a Zoom call with Saida Garrett and sat and listened to her talk about her experience with Michael. And unfortunately I was kicked out due to someone trying to call me so much. Okay, I'm not gonna read that one. Frances Jackson commented on my post. Frances is TJ's wife and she's commented on a few of my posts now. She's so sweet, I love her. I want to meet her. I want to hug her. She's lovely. She's so pretty. Um, spoke to Terrell Jackson. He did. I spoke to Terrell. 
he's all right met navi in person in february i did before um corona i met navi and yeah sorry these seem so rushed it's just because i don't want to explain them too much and have it drag on and see jonathan moffat yes on my youtube i think about like eight videos back maybe ten no not that many videos back georgia like maybe five it started my 2020 with beth oh my god okay so me and beth aren't actually that close anymore we're still friends like we, we never lost any respect for each other but you know um with like starting new college and everything we sort of just you know drifted apart kind of um but we actually started 2020 together she was at mine on new year's eve and um i felt it was one of the best people to start my 2020 with uh, she was a huge part of my 2018 2019 um and yeah i will always value my friendship with her um got sent free skincare products by Hello Body uk yes i think they were the first people i ever got sent th something from and um yeah they've sent me, like three lots of the same thing so i gave two away and then kept one for myself um got a signature from tj it's on my wall it's my baby i will treasure it forever and ever got a viral vid on tiktok yeah georgia you've had a few but my most like viewed video was like nine million and almost a million likes um i just hung my head out a window and listened to an explosion um enzo was born my nephew um that you see in a lot of tiktoks or a lot of youtube videos and quite occasionally on my instagram story got to be in alonzo's music video uh yeah yeah um i did with a lot of talented people um <laughs> prince sent me a hit troopers hit history picture vinyl uh yes my favorite album prince bought me on vinyl because i couldn't afford it so he bought it for me open my own online store i did which is my merch store and like i said it's on my link tree or i can link it down below uh tj joined my live stream he did this was the first ever time that i was i feel like i was properly noticed by tj um i was in my bedroom listening to his music actually which is such a coincidence and he joined and i just remember like thinking oh my god tj jackson is in my live stream okay the last one and that's my 2020 oh my god this is insane i've been building this up for a year hits 175,000 on tiktok I think that's a good way to end it actually. I'm, at, I'm now at 193,000. I'm 7,000 away from 200,000. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much for making that possible for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. My 20, I honestly thought I was gonna cry, um, but I guess not. Um, my next video will be my Christmas haul, which will probably either be tomorrow or the next day. And I'm actually really, really excited to do that video um i am one incredibly happy girl it has been a year to remember by far has been the best year of my life but yeah i really really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you to everyone watching this video i'm sure you really did make my 2020 a year to remember everyone has made my 2020 a year to remember everyone you know from people who just follow me to people who just constantly text me you know you have made my 2020 and i hope to take you all into 2021 2022 all the way to when i die um my parents have high hopes for me <laughs> they think i'm gonna be famous one day or that i'm gonna be rich and honestly like i said i feel like i've reached my peak i feel like this is it i feel like i'm not really gonna grow any more than this i hope you enjoyed and i will see you either tomorrow or the next day or the next day for my christmas haul I really can't wait for it and I promise you there is going to be some amazing content in 2021, okay? I love you all so much. Bye.